Statistics and Probability is brought to you by The Math Teacher. For the subject Statistics and Probability, here's an introduction that will provide understanding about the tool in decision making and the process in solving a problem. Let us start exploring few questions. How old is our teacher? How old are the people residing in our town? Is the vehicle of the city mayor bigger than that of the president of the Philippines? Do dogs eat more than cats? How many days are there in December? Does it rain more in our country than in Thailand? What is the weight of my smallest classmate? What is the proportion of Filipino children, aged 0 to 5 years, who are underweight or overweight for their age? Let us distinguish between the first and second questions previously presented. All the questions in number one could be answered by a piece of information which is considered always true. There is a correct answer which is based on a fact and you don't need the process of inquiry to answer such kind of question. On the other hand, for the questions in number two, observations or data is necessary to be able to respond to each of the questions. In some questions, you need to get the observations or responses of all those concerned to be able to answer the question. But in both cases, we need data to be able to respond to the question. Using data to find an answer or a solution to a problem or an inquiry is actually using the statistical process or doing it with statistics. Now let us formalize what we discussed and learn more about statistics and how we use it in decision making. Statistics as a tool in decision making. Statistics is defined as a science that studies data to be able to make a decision. Hence, it is a tool in decision making process. Statistics as a science involves the methods of collecting, processing, summarizing, and analyzing data, in order to provide answers or solutions to an inquiry. Likewise it is necessary to interpret and communicate the results, of the aforementioned methods, to support a decision to make, when faced with a problem or an inquiry. Statistics as a process in problem solving To use statistics in decision making, there is a statistical process to follow plan or design the data collection to answer statistical questions in a way that maximizes information content and minimizes bias. Collect the data as required in the plan. Verify the quality of the data after they were collected. Summarize the information extracted from the data. Examine the summary statistics so that insight and meaningful information can be produced to support decision making or solutions to the question or problem at hand. Let's summarize. There is a difference between questions that could be and those that could not be answered using statistics. Statistics is a science that studies data. There are many uses of statistics but its main use is in decision making. Logical decisions or solutions to a problem could be attained through a statistical process. And to identify which questions are answerable using statistical process and which are not, here's task number one. Question number one. What is a typical size of a Filipino family? Question number two. How many hours are there in a day? Question number three. How old is the oldest man residing in the Philippines? Question number four. Is planet Mars bigger than planet Earth? Question number five. What is the average wage rate in the country? Question number six. Would Filipinos prefer eating bananas rather than apple?
Question number 7. How long did you sleep last night? Question number 8. How much does a newly hired public school teacher in the NCR earns in a month? Question number 9. How tall is a typical Filipino? Question number 10. Did you eat your breakfast today? After the previously stated questions are carefully identified, then tell which of the questions are answerable using a statistical process and which are answerable without using a statistical process. Thank you, and I hope that you have learned something meaningful.